So my name is Phyllis Nash. I am um, the C. So we are chief sales officer here at Wakana. I'm a mother and my pillar, I am the pillar of freedom. Um, I am known as the midwife of Wakana because I absolutely love to help each and every one of you per push out um, all the possibilities that you're pregnant with. And I am truly a lover of people. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. And I think that you should definitely, after you hear this, you'll probably feel the same way. I think you should definitely thank the person that invited you to take a listen to this presentation because it absolutely changed my life. And so we invite you to take the pledge. I took the pledge back in October of 2021. And I, as I say, I have been on a road to optimum health ever since then. So we welcome you. The Flat Belly Lifestyle 2.0 is a revolutionary approach to weight and health management by Wakana for Life. And it is based on spiritual principles, scientific evidence, and validation from real people. So I know a lot of you on the phone have, I mean, on the line, right, have probably experienced waste loss, weight loss programs, but this is truly a mindset and a shift in how you are going to take care of your temple and being educated the right way is going to give you the tools to do so. So our company started um, we started Wakana for Life in 2019. We're headquartered here in Chicago, Illinois. It was founded by uh, four African-American women, and we have more than 23,000 customers. Now, we've done over $8 million in sales. We hit that mark at our three-year anniversary, which was for 20 of 20, uh, 2022. We employ over 20 people. And guys, we reinvest 1% of our gross profit into, commu into our community. Uh, we launched the Flat Belly Lifestyle in 2021. Now, we have a five-star rating with Google. And if you know anything about that, it's hard to having 23,000 customers uh, a number of over a couple of thousand distributors and to still be able to maintain a five star rating, even if I do so say, say so myself, we must be doing something right. We have a 30 day money back guarantee and we're just excited to bring health to our community. So we believe true well being is only found by connecting just as our great grandmothers did to the garden, the earth, and to our inner wisdom. And so from Genesis 1 and 29, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit and seed in it. They will be yours for food. So we participate in many industries because CBD, uh, is how we got started back in 2019. It's such a versatile area, but our background is over 35 years of health and wellness. So the weight loss industry as it stands now is $288 billion. What kind of participates in that industry? The skincare industry is a $190 billion industry. What kind of participates in that industry? Hair care, a $87 billion industry. Guess what? Wakana participates in that industry. We have herbal botanicals. That's a $150 billion industry. And guys, we got started in our CBD uh, industry with just $7 billion and have since added Delta 8. So the global wellness industry as a whole yields over $3.4 trillion annually. And we specialize in these sectors, which I've just named. So what is the pledge? Research shows many chronic diseases can be avoided by eating according to your blood type and focusing on more plant-based meals. I'm a testimony. 
So my question would be, would you pledge to go plant-based for your blood type if it meant living a healthier and more fulfilling life? Had you asked me that back in October of 2021, I probably wouldn't have never thought being a vegan was anything in my near future. But when you're educated and you know better, you do better. So what is your goal? Your goal might change as we go through uh, and you start doing this and getting acclimated. So my goal back in October 2021 was losing weight and getting in shape. Not going plant-based, but now that's the goal. Helping your family. It is extended way par past my family after having done this only since October. I, need the, I know the world needs to hear about it and I need to be part of that. Improving mental health, because even if you don't recognize it yourself, these last few years we've gone through, all of us have been mentally affected and preventing chronic disease. So all of these are my goals now. And I hope as you hear, they will become yours too. So that question again, what would you pledge to go plant-based for your blood type if it meant living a healthier and more fulfilling life? So what will you learn here? So you're going to learn about the science behind the bio scan. You're going to learn about eating for your blood type the root cause of disease, solutions to help you live your best life. That's another incentive for me. I don't wanna just be here. I wanna live my best life possible and inspiring stories from real people. So the top causes of death, guys, heart disease, cancer, COVID-19 has moved into number three, unintentional injury, a stroke, chronic respiratory diseases, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, influenza and pneumonia, kidney diseases. And do you know I looked each one of these up? And each one of these can be prevented or reversible. Now you get that, I'm gonna say that again. The top causes of death, the 10 top causes can be prevented or reversed. It's really up to us. So it's time for a change. Who out there is ready for a change? Put a one in the chat if you are ready for a change. Because African Americans are disproportionately impacted by almost every chronic and fatal disease. And in the area of preventive medicine, certain techno technological advances have not been widely made available to our community. So start by learning your blood type and then find out what's happening at the cellular level. Do you know your blood type? That's a question. Are you curious to know what's happening inside your body? So food toxins to your blood type. So if you're an A, you need to avoid most animal meat and bananas. If you're a B, Avoid avocados, black beans, chicken, and shrimp. A uh, AB, you want to share the traits of both A and B blood types. So you have a lot of limitations. But if you're a type O, you may think, oh, I'm an O, and most O's can handle meat better than any other blood type. But none of us are supposed to be carnivores. We just have more acid that can digest that meat. But we need to avoid avocados dairy, and most grains. Now, what is a biotechnology? It is rooted in the word biology. It is the utilization of cellular and biomolecular processes to improve our lives. Biotechnology is utilized worldwide and has helped reduce infectious disease rates and save millions of children's lives. There is a wide range of uses that involve this technology. Our device is a quantum magnetic analyzer known as the BioScan, and it is a non-invasive machine that does not use radiation or any other harmful process. It is primarily used in Eastern medicine and by naturopath doctors and chiropractors. Our BioScan captures this phenomenon 
Albert Einstein recognized a long time ago that the future of medicine is energy medicine. Somewhere along when he was here and up to now, that got lost. But we want you to bring it back to what he thought was our future. The human body is made of trillions of cells, and these cells grow, split, regenerate, and die. And for adults, approximately 25 million cells divide every second. Red blood cells renew at the rate of 100 million per minute. And during cell division and renewal, the body emits electronic wave signals. These signals determine whether the body is healthy or unhealthy. And the signals are compared with the spectrum of disease, nutrition, and other indicators of irregularities. So I'm gonna bring on our phenomenal CEO. She is a wife, a mother, a glamour. She is our CEO. She is our pillar of legacy because we all need to leave a legacy. She's our visionary, the author of Proverbs Diet, a best-selling co-author. And I'm here to introduce tonight someone I truly care so much about and who has taught me, even though she's young enough to be my daughter, a lot over these last 16 years. Take it away, Melissa. Wow, Phyllis. First of all, just thank you so much for who you are and all that you do. That was absolutely amazing. And as you were sitting here, you know, speaking, it was really speaking to me. And I was thinking about something that Dr. Um, Clapper said. He's a, a leading um, specialist in, in disease. And he says, you know, at the end of the day, when we think about all these chronic diseases, it's actually our genes that actually load the gun, but it's the food that we eat that pulls the trigger, guys. So a lot of times we think when you look at the heart disease and cancer and you see so many people suffering, we just think, well, guess what? My mom had diabetes. I'm going to have diabetes. But like Phyllis said, much of this can be within our control by at least 90 percent. And that's powerful. You know, some of our genes are dictators. I mean, they're going to dictate what it is we have. If you have blue eyes, it's because there's genes that dictated that, okay? But there are certain genes that are part of a committee. And as a committee, guess what? You have a say. So if you're gonna turn on the diabetes gene, the cancer gene, guess what? That means you've actually had a chance to do something to prevent it by actually eating certain fruits and vegetables and avoiding those processed foods that turns on the genes that activates so much destruction in our body. And so Phyllis, again, that was amazing. We just appreciate you so much. But again, you were just speaking to my heart because so many times, you know, we think doom and gloom, we hear these statistics and we think, you know, woe is me because it's in my genetics, it's in my genes. But again, it's actually within your control. And that's the message tonight. You have a chance to turn it around to reverse chronic disease. And that's the good news that we're here to share tonight. And so I'm going to show you a couple of examples of really what this technology measures, because I think it's important that you understand that, again, we can actually look and see what's happening on a cellular level, okay? And we can do this in as little as two minutes. This is an actual report card of one of our participants who shared their results. We've left their name off this report, but I wanna just break down to you what exactly this means. When we do the bioscan, it's gonna let you know where you're normal, where you're mildly abnormal, where you're moderately abnormal, and where you're severely abnormal. So again, a lot of us might be at a risk factor for let's say Alzheimer's. There's actually a gene that puts you at risk for Alzheimer's, but how it determines whether it manifests is if you actually eat certain things that clog the very arteries, right? That actually contribute to Alzheimer's accelerating. And so we wanna avoid that so that we don't have this plaque building up because this plaque building up in our arteries leads to so much chronic disease. And if your vascular elasticity, your coronary artery elasticity or cerebral blood vessel elasticity, if they're at a decrease, what it means is you're building up plaque and we can determine with our bioscan the areas in which you are building up plaque. In fact, if it's in the middle, again, that's normal. And if you look at this particular report card, these are the items we tested. This is normal range. This is the actual measurement in which this participant tested. 
And then you can see the color codes because if it's to the right, it's at an increase. If it's to the left, it's at a decrease. In fact, let's look at another example of atherosclerosis. You know, atherosclerosis is known as hardening of the arteries. And ideally, we all want to have optimal arteries where the blood is flowing through. But do you know that when you actually go to the doctor, unless you get to the point where you're actually at risk now to carry a stent, do you know that they actually sometimes don't even call it, you know, heart disease, right? They, they might say, well, you're, you know, kind of having some issues right now, but they don't put you on medication. They don't have to give you a stent. So you go home and you might not even know that your arteries are 40% clogged. They don't tell you that you're 50% clogged. It's not until you are 60% clogged that the alarms go off because it's at that level, you're at the risk for a heart attack or brain stroke. And so why do we want to wait until we're at this high level? Why do we want to wait until we're at this dangerous level in which now the arteries are completely blocked? Because guess what that means? That means now we have serious artery disease and now we're at risk for an atherosclerosis blood clot. And if we have a blood clot that's blocking that flow of blood to the brain, that's known as a stroke. When it's blocking the flow of blood to the heart, that's known as a heart stroke, right? Or a heart attack. And so when we think about you know, our body and we think about the organs that are most critical, obviously your heart and brain are most critical, but now let's look at another organ in which we're seeing so much disease an epidemic of disease called fatty liver. And so we can actually measure the function of your liver. This is a report card. And if you look at this particular report card, it's gonna show you if you're metabolizing protein, it's gonna show you the energy production, you know, if your body's actually detoxifying. In fact, the one of the most critical ones that we always like to focus on is liver fat content. And in fact, this particular subject has a moderate degree of fat that's actually at an increase and we call this fatty liver disease there's various stages of liver disease in fact when we look at non-alcoholic fatty liver disease it's a potentially fatal condition it wrecks as much damage to your liver as would a bottle of vodka every single day and if you look at this healthy liver this is ideally what we want our liver to look like because it's our liver that really serves to be kind of the filter for the body. It's really helping to regulate the entire body. But if the liver is clogged up and now we have fatty liver, it's not doing its job. And all of a sudden we end up having so many things happen that eventually lead to liver fibrosis. And this is when the liver starts to scar. Eventually that leads to cirrhosis for many people that end up with fatty liver. And for those people, what happens is the scar tissue makes it hard for the liver to, liver to actually work properly. And guess what the only solution becomes? It's a liver transplant. And know that this fatty liver is on the rise worldwide. It impacts 80 to 100 million people in the United States. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, about 16 million of these have a more aggressive form. We call this the silent killer. And for some, again, it's gonna to lead to cirrhosis of the liver. And I do wanna put a warning out, especially for parents, for grandparents, you know, with our kids, we have to specifically protect them because there's something they're putting in our food supply, especially in the supply of our children. And it's contributing to an epidemic of now young kids being faced with fatty liver disease. In fact, type one diabetes used to only happen when someone was either an infant, they were born with it before the age of 10. Now we're seeing fatty liver disease and we're seeing type one diabetes when people are 20. In fact, we're seeing as late as people are getting diagnosed with type one diabetes as old as 37 years old. I mean, this is unheard of, but guess what one of the big culprits is? I want you guys to take a guess real quick. In fact, if you get this right, the first person to get this right, we're gonna actually give you a free product tonight, okay? And so what is the number one contributor to fatty liver disease in children? Guess what it is? The number one contributor to fatty liver disease in children. Let's see if anyone gets this tonight. Somebody said milk, dairy products, sugar. Okay, you guys are onto it. I'm gonna give you a hint. The person who said sugar you're onto it, but that's not the right answer that I'm looking for. It's a form of sugar. Okay, it's a form of sugar that not, it's, it's a, you're getting close to one. You are getting very close. 
you guys are well you got part of the name i'm looking for the full name beatrice you got part of the name but i'm looking for the full there you go <laughs> high fructose corn syrup okay they're putting that in our cereal they're putting that in everything in fact when they're testing kids now do you know that it's actually affected us on a dna uh, on a dna level because when they actually take a hair analysis of our kids do you know that many of them are showing now that they're made of corn okay and this is crazy so high fructose corn syrup is something you want to avoid you want to avoid that with your kids and you know obviously meat and there's other things too so all the answers are great because they're all on the list if we did the top 10 meat's going to be on there dairy's going to be on there but the number one thing right now that's causing the epidemic in children is high fructose corn syrup and so let's look at the kidney analysis report card so if we look at this we also see a few areas and i'm going to explain what they mean uric acid uric acid is actually connected to gout so if you actually see high levels of uric acid you know you want to definitely eliminate um, or greatly reduce your animal consumption specifically food like chicken because chicken is very high in uric acid so if you ever have a pain that happens in your big toe just know you're probably on the way to experiencing gout but one of the ones we really want to look at tonight is protein urea because protein urea means your urine is actually dumping out protein if your urine is dumping out protein guess what that means it means you already have a high degree of kidney damage and if the kidneys continue to stay damaged over time it progresses guess what now you end up having kidney disease and so now you go from stage one which is a normal and high functioning kidney all the way to stage five which is when the kidneys are functioning less than 15 percent and that's what kidney failure is that's when people actually get put on dialysis and do you know that it is estimated that every 30 seconds a leg is amputated and 85 percent of these amputations are the result of diabetes and we all know someone who's had that foot ulcer that just wouldn't heal and all of a sudden that foot ulcer led to what an amputation and so we really want to start spreading the news that this is avoidable in fact both diabetes and dialysis they are increasing at alarming rates we know that african americans and hispanic children who are born after the year 2000 have a 50 percent chance of developing diabetes in their lifetime we know that this is going to shorten their lifespan and so we want to avoid this high sugar levels that are in the blood that's leading to this kidney damage which ultimately over time leads to the kidney failure and so the last report card that we want to show tonight is actually your basic physical quality this is going to let us know if the body is alkaline or if it's acidic we know that in a, an alkaline body it makes it very hard for disease to, to exist at all but as soon as the body gets acidic guess what happens disease starts to thrive and so you want to know if your body's alkaline or acidic but you also want to know if you're experiencing hypoxia one of the issues and why our body malfunctions is because we malfunction at the cellular level due to lack of oxygen. We know that oxygen is something that we will die if we're not getting oxygen within a matter of minutes. At least with water, you can go days without it before you actually would die, but with oxygen, it's so critical. So these are two areas that you wanna monitor on the report card so that you can see where your body is and now do corrective measures to actually reverse these issues. Because we do know that this is by design. I mean, how many of you realize that this absolutely is by design? I want you to look at the fact that it's in our neighborhoods that they're loading us up with all of these fast fried food restaurants on every corner. We do know that, especially with liver disease, our heavy animal consumption is a big contributor to this epidemic of liver disease, this epidemic of heart disease. But we also know that it's our children they're targeting. See, in other countries, do you know that they call this predatory? They don't allow our children to have these commercials being advertised to them during cartoons and programs that are supposed to be marketed to children. But in this country, they do that. And we know the reason for that is these huge corporations that have created a trillion dollar industry, in fact, trillions of dollars off of our pain. And so it's time for us to actually work together so that we can reverse this epidemic of disease. 
And in order for us to do that, we've got to get to the root cause. We got to know exactly what's happening. And so to talk about the top five root causes and why disease is happening on such an epidemic proportions is we actually have someone on the line who's going to go ahead and take this away. We have the phenomenal Kathy Weathersby, who actually is someone who in our business has hit the level of Emerald Dispensary. I mean, what that means is her group has generated over $50,000 in one month. She is a wife. She's a good friend. She's a retired microbiologist. She's a retired financial planner of 27 years, a woman of faith. She is a devoted founding member of Wakana. She is our VP of finance. And of course, I mentioned Emerald Dispensary and certified wellness coach. Without any further ado, Kathy, if you can go ahead and let them know the top five causes of disease. I'll be happy to do that, Melissa. Thank you so much for setting the stage and thank you, Phyllis, for uh, uh, you know just setting everything up here. This education is priceless, Melissa. So the first one is lack of oxygen. One of the primary causes of disease in the human body is the lack of cellular oxygen, the inability of the cell to use oxygen and a lack or an excess of nutrients. So your cells have to breathe as well. Number two, mucus and parasites, human intestinal, intestinal parasitic infection is something that many suffer with. We have to get these unuseful uh, parasites um, out of our bodies. That mucus is something that can clog everything. Um, toxicity, the process of detoxification goes through the liver. It is the primary detoxifying organ. So your lungs, your gut, and your skin feed into that. And then the toxins will exit back through the lungs, the skin, the colon, and the kidneys. So that process of detoxification is um, an issue. Deficiency. Symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, like muscle weakness, chronic kidney disease, constant respiration problems, like Melissa mentioned that hacking cough that some people have, bone pain, sweaty head in children, infertility, hypertension, and psoriasis, all symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, one of the top five causes. And an acidic body, Mel Melissa just mentioned that in an acid environment, disease thrives. In an alkaline environment, it cannot survive. So here is where you want to be looking at where on the pH spectrum is your diet. If you look at the acidic, which is what we just mentioned, acidic is an issue where it, it, it uh, harbors disease. You're looking at things like sweet um, drinks, sodas, candy. Uh, moving on into other sweets and junk food. You're here at five still with processed foods. And then you're looking closer to the middle with things like fish and uh, some eggs and fruit and beans. In the middle of the spectrum are water. <laughs> Your water should absolutely be there and oils. And then if you look here, going into the alkaline is everything that you need to sustain healthy life. Fruits, vegetables, nuts. Look at all of those beautiful colors. When you're looking at the reds and the blues and the greens, that's where you're going to be getting your nutrients. And those are your alkaline foods. So are you ready to live your best possible life to travel like you want? to have the family life that you've always dreamed of and to have time to do everything. You see, Dr. Eric Prince, who is our naturopathic doctor, he said that you cannot consciously resolve your health issues on the same mental level that you unconsciously used to create them. Basically, once you know better, you have to do better. You see, you need the right products to reset your life. The regenerator, the purifier, and the eliminator help you do that. First, step one is to eliminate excess mucus and parasites. 
Guys, if you're in an area with pollen, if you're in an area with pollution, if you're in an in an area that has air, <laughs> you're going to have an issue with uh, mucus. And if you're eating food on the planet, you may have a uh, problem with parasites. Then step two, cleanse the colon and detoxify the bodily organs. This purifier is a liquid colonic. This is going to help reset that colon and really get you clean. Now with superfoods, you're gonna be able to get that vitamins and minerals that you need to make your body stay healthy and prevent disease. When the body's nourished, organ function improves, energy returns, and it will maintain a healthy weight. Biologically, you will look and feel much younger. Our own CEO, visionary and best-selling author, Melissa Boston, says that herbs and botanicals are living things. So think of them as allies instead of consumables. Each of us has a particular plant ally that we can get to know and will come to our aid when needed. Step three includes those superfoods, replenishing your vitamins and minerals. I mean, look at the vast list that we have here. And these natural superfoods help address areas of concern in so many of us. I mean, ashwagandha helps with stress, sexual function, blood fat, blood sugar, and memory. Chlorella helps to get rid of toxins, helps increase, uh, excuse me, helps to regulate blood sugar, increase oxygen levels, removing heavy metals, reducing cholesterol. Probiotics help with your gut health, immune system, inflammation, and help to improve allergies. Dults, it's great for nourishing the thyroid and improving your eyes, lowering blood pressure. Prebiotics really help increase those bowel movements, prevent overeating and increase mental power. Moringa, great for beauty, liver, stress, bones, anti-tumoral. Beetroot, oh my goodness. How many times have we said inflammation assisted here? Inflammation, blood pressure, liver and brain, rose hips, inflammation and anti-aging. Noni fruit root, immune, blood pressure, blood sugar, wheatgrass, oxidative stress, anti-tumoral, helps arthritis, neuroprotective, and finally apple fiber, helping to prevent constipation, stop diarrhea, improves blood vessel and heart damage. This is the perfect blend that addresses so many things. And those superfoods are exactly what you need to replenish your body. So the 21 day raw cleanse is our phase three. It includes all three products, eliminator, purifier, and the regenerator. We also have our seven day raw cleanse. Phase two, for it does have all three products, of course, in the seven day size. The deluxe package will include your gummies, and your flat belly coffee and the bitters. Those are other components of the flat belly lifestyle and having tried all of them, having done the deluxe, I can tell you that this really does help set you on the right pace and really set you up for success. Plant, uh, phase one, going back to starting where you feel comfortable. Phase one is plant focus. See, this is for somebody who's never who's just scared off completely by raw. But you really wanna add more plants to get yourself in a healthier state. Phase one includes flat belly coffee, flat belly bitters, and the flat belly gummies. You see the coffee is a delicious way to burn fat, boost your metabolism, and the formula contains broad spectrum CBD and is non-psychotropic. Broad spectrum CBD has 0.0% THC in it. So for those of you that are concerned that you may um, have a random drug screen, you are just fine using phase one products. Flat belly bitters helps to stimulate digestion, detoxify the liver, and control sugar and appetite. This product is not infused with CBD. And then the gummies. These are formulated with ingredients that help improve gut health, boost metabolism, control appetite, and reduce inflammation. This formula contains broad spectrum CBD and is non-psychotropic. Just like the coffee, you don't have to worry about random drug screenings. Guys, I started with phase one and I was able to reduce my weight by 11 pounds and I'm sure that most of that was 
waist because I didn't really work out then. And now when you go to flatbellylifestyle.com, you're going to see additional resources and tools. You can download the free ebook, join our Facebook group. You've got fun and effective plans like workout plans and recipes and a meal plan. And then you get to meet and understand the testimonials of real live people. This is a real live CSO. She dropped 17 pounds and reduced her cholesterol by 50 points. Already fine, getting finer and finer. And other testimonials from Tariq, who lost 25 pounds of waste in 21 days. Mary lost 21 pounds and 14% body fat. Crystal, who lost pounds and removed belly fat in just 21 days. I mean, pictures don't lie, looking great. Here is uh, Beatrice, who did phase one and phase three, removed her unwanted belly fat and dropped more than 30 pounds. Looking bikini ready. So you can select your phase, whatever is comfortable for you. Again, phase one is plant focused. Phase two is plant based. Phase three is 21 day raw cleanse. And of course you can do the seven day and get started. So what you wanna do is select your phase and start imagining how great you're gonna look and feel in the next 21 days. Step two, get with the person that invited you and then make that purchase. There's specials, there are all types of things that can save you money. Step three, connect with your wellness coach during the uh, flatbellylifestyle.com, go to the website, make sure to register for the pledge, download the free, did I say free? Ebook. See, this ebook is going to be able to help you learn what foods are beneficial and toxic to your blood type. If you don't know your blood type, guys, you've got to connect back with the person that invited you and get to get know your blood type and join the conversation on Facebook. Thank you so much for listening to that portion of our presentation.